Hey, everybody, welcome back to track two of Plunk Conference 2021. I'm here with Roger, who is a front end developer at Ishkra, and he is going to be talking to us about React and Guillotina integrations. Uh, hello, I'm Sandeep. Uh, today, uh, I'm going to present you what uh, Guillotina React is. Uh, my name is Roger Boucher de Güell, and I'm from Berga, uh, Catalonia. I work in Iskra and I am front end developer. Uh, I basically work with React and Angular. I have also worked with Python uh, developing Django and Guillotine applications. Okay. Uh, what? Uh, Guillotine React uh, was built by Jordi Foley. Uh, it provides an interface that uh, to access all Guillotine content depending on user permissions and allow you to apply actions like create, modify, uh, remove content. <coughs> User interface interactions um, like display message, etc. Uh, all this flexibility to build in your way, uh, adding your own content with your forms, your icons, etc. It's built around the idea that to us as a framework to roll out your Guillotina management interface layer that could be extended uh, from outside. Um, before explaining uh, how we can uh, build uh, our own Guillotina management interface, we are going to see a project that is built uh, with Guillotina React. The project is Fida Mediterranea. Uh, it's in a strategic fair for art art artist proposal, which use root resources, tradition, and popular culture as the driver of creativity. Uh, thanks to Guillotina React, we can build an application to manage all first data. Uh, here uh, we can see the, the public website. Uh, here we can see uh, some performance that in this year uh, have um, had uh, happened in, in the fair. And for example, uh, here uh, we see an, a performance and an infor, uh, information about the, this performance the dates and, and some date uh, in this performance. All, all this data uh, um, are saved in Guillotina and then uh, we manage uh, this data uh, thanks to uh, Guillotina React. Here uh, we can see the, the, the application that we built uh, with Guillotina React. Uh, this application uh, had uh, two main sections. The first section is uh, in Guillotina React, the component Guillotina React, that provides us to manage uh, all data. It's inside, uh, um, in this component, uh, all data is in traversal uh, format, no? And then, for example, in the, uh, this uh, edition, we can see uh, uh, several types uh, or, or data. For example, uh, here uh, um, there are some emails, some performance, some entities, uh, some artists. Here by default, uh, Guillotina React provides us uh, some tabs to edit this data. Uh, for example, if uh, we can edit the edition's data in properties tab, we can modify it, uh, all of them. In permissions tab, uh, we can uh, modify the, the permissions. Uh, this um, permissions is only applied uh, to the current object. Uh, but if you mod the, depends the setting, for example, allow or allow single, uh, you can access uh, to current object uh, and uh, its uh, child. Finally, uh, here we can see an vocabulary tab that uh, allows us to to modify uh, all dynamic uh, vocabularies. This tab is a custom tab, no? but uh, Guillotina React uh, don't pre uh, provide us uh, this tab by default. But we uh, can modify it and add or delete uh, some tabs in each content type in all objects in, in Guillotina. For example, uh, if uh, we see an uh, artist uh, object, here uh, we have uh, we have the vocabulary tab, but uh, we have uh, the action tab. In this example, uh, we can delete it, uh, this this object. The permissions is the same than in container tab uh, in container type and the properties uh, too. Here, but in the properties tab, 
we override it, uh, the, this, this view to uh, manage the data uh, different uh, from the, the, co the container. Uh, for example, uh, here we, we have a button that allows us to change this state. Uh, in this case, uh, the artist can be published or unpublished. Uh, here we can change uh, this, no? And by default, uh, Guillotine and React not, uh, doesn't provide this. We can override it, uh, this view to manage, uh, to modify and, and show different info and different, different actions. In the items, we can uh, see a search by input text or by uh, content types. Then here we can add uh, more objects inside the, the artist. For example, we can add some proposal, some accreditation or sort of some, some payment. And here we can see the default form that Guillotine, Pro, uh, Guillotine React uh, provides us. In this case, only uh, there are the ID and the title field. But if we want, we can uh, modify it uh, and override uh, this form. For example, in accreditation, in accreditation form, uh, we change it to ask uh, different, uh, different thing. In this case, the name, the last names, email, uh, typology, and the, and the language. So. Then uh, in the second section, we can see uh, isolated page. No, it is a, a view that is uh, outside from a guillotine component. Here we can the traversal and only uh, we uh, get some information with Guillotina client because Guillotina React uh, provides us uh, a Guillotina client that allows uh, to connect with Guillotina and get data and do some, some actions uh, more. For example, uh, here we can uh, download the Excel or send uh, emails to this proposal. Here we can uh, apply some filters or uh, sort it by uh, different, different fields. Okay. Uh, now uh, we can, uh, we will see uh, a simple example. How come uh, can build, we can build uh, a simple example with uh, Guillotina React and uh, create own Guillotina management uh, interface. First, uh, we will see the login page, then the default content type. Uh, after manage users, uh, the, the custom content type view, and finally how how uh, um, uh, how integrate uh, the application uh, to Guillotine service directly. Here uh, it's an uh, an example that uh, a little uh, a simple a simple example uh, to to Guillotine React, and first uh, we can see uh, some uh, different uh, interface uh, against that in uh, Fidesz Mediterranean uh, login page. This is because uh, we can choose um, the login the context. Uh, to do login, no, to, to can, you can do login to uh, the root in Guillotine root or in some container. The difference that it's in, in root, uh, first we can see uh, all databases that uh, we, uh, we have in, in Guillotine. After this, uh, we can see all containers and finally, uh, we can see the container uh, content type view. If we change it and try to log in against container, directly we see the container because uh, the login uh, is uh, against container and not uh, the root in Guillotina, Guillotina root. Then here uh, we can see the default um, tabs for container view. In this case, uh, uh, we have some add-ons uh, that uh, at, um, allows us to install or uh, delete some add-ons to Guillotina. In this case, we have the DB users and the image field. Then uh, we have the registry tab. Here is not implemented, but the idea is that 
uh, we can uh, get the, the guillotine registry. Uh, we can save some information in guillotine registry, and then uh, we can see in here what, when uh, implemented this tab. Then in behavior tab, uh, we'll see the, the, the all behaviors. And in, in containers type, we don't have uh, some static behaviors. But if uh, we want, we can add some behaviors to uh, this uh, object, only in this object. If not, uh, we need to add it the, to a static behaviors if we want to add uh, this behavior to, to all objects in each content type. Then we have the permission type like uh, the other. And finally, we have the delete, move, and copy objects, I, buttons to, to do these, these actions. Here, the login page, the container, and then uh, in, in this example, we have DB users. And in this case, the users create for us uh, groups and users folder. Here, we can add some users to log in uh, to application and some groups uh, to uh, organize uh, these users. By default, uh, if you try to uh, log in uh, with one of these users, you can't because this uh, user uh, don't have the, the correct permissions. Uh, here in the container, we have uh, the training group that uh, is guillotina member row, guillotina reader, and guillotina uh, guillotina management interface uh, user. This row uh, allows us to log in uh, with this application. Uh, this is an example uh, role, but uh, by default, guillotina don't provide. Uh, doesn't provide this, this, this role and uh, their permission to associate it in, in this role. For example, if we create a user, like if then test, test to, and password test, then if we try to log in against container, because this user is in container, we can't, but if we said that this user we change in principal roles and we said, okay, this user now is guillotina reader, guillotina member and guillotina management interface user, we set the permissions and now we can uh, log in and see uh, all data. But now only see the item stat and the action stat. This is because you can set uh, some permissions to access in, in, some, in some tabs. If we come back with the root user, Uh, finally, we can see the custom content type view. In this case, in this guillotina, we have the demo type. This is a, 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 a custom content type that uh, we uh, created to this demo. And in this case, this type, we have uh, some, some properties, uh, text field, rights text field, number field, choice, boolean, list, date and date time. And now we can see uh, how to modify it uh, or to override uh, this, uh, this view. If we go to the code here, we have the guillotina component that provides us to uh, build uh, all application. And here in the registry, we can override it, uh, so the forms, Views, uh, items column, some components, and behaviors component. For example, this uh, this content type uh, we added uh, the custom tab. No, we override the default uh, view, and here 
we define the items, the properties, behaviors, permissions, and actions tab, but we added the custom tab. And then we define uh, each permission to uh, each, uh, each tab. In this case, we said uh, to see custom tab, we needed guillotina bio content permission. If we want, we can delete it, for example, permissions tab. And then uh, we don't see uh, this tab. Uh, we can uh, modify all of, all of these. Uh, if we try to add some demo type uh, object here, we can see uh, the, the, the form. This form is overriding too, because to create this object, we needed these fields. Guillotina React provides us uh, an, um, a required files, field, files form. This form uh, read the JSON schema that Guillotina provides for each content type, and then uh, render all form only with required uh, fields, and uh, it's, it's automatic, you know, it's uh, catch the, the schema and render uh, all by the, uh, the type uh, in, defined in, in a schema. And we can see that the, an example. For example, in the item folder, like in the first uh, application, it's the default form. If we want, we can uh, create own, uh, own form and uh, render that fields or uh, whatever you want in, in, in this form. Now uh, we can uh, override it, the items column. And here in the demo content type, we override it to add it the path column. For each content type, we add uh, we modify these columns and uh, render which columns what uh, we uh, we want. Finally, in the properties tab, uh, the the most important component is that the the editor, editable component. This component. Uh, reach the JSON schema and then render the edit component when we try to edit the, this attribute or render component when in this case we can uh, see the, the value of, of this, this field. For example, well, by, by default, uh, guillotina ria when we have uh, a schema and uh, the widget is text area or rich text render text, text area text area input but in this case we change it to render the rich text input and here when we edit this field uh, we can see the uh, the rich text then uh, if uh, we uh, don't override um, the render uh, component don't uh, see the, um, the value, the parsed value. We only see all HTML code and don't see the correct uh, value. And here we can override it to in render field component that it's the same, that edit component, but in this case, we choose which uh, component uh, wants to use when render the information in this case, this component only parse the HTML value. But then if uh, we want, uh, well, you have uh, some uh, fields and different widgets or by types, uh, you can define it uh, all components for each, for each type or for each widget. And uh, you can create uh, automatically uh, forms and, and to edit the information only modify the, the interfaces in, in Guillotina. Finally, uh, we will see uh, how to, to integrate, uh, integrate this application uh, to Guillotina. Here in localhost, we have the, the server, no? This is that the, the, the Guillotina. And Guillotina provides us uh, to render JavaScript applications. 
to do this, we need to create the build in a React application, and then we catch this file and copy in a folder uh, in Guillotine. For example, here we copy these uh, files in a static uh, build uh, folder. Finally, we change the Guillotine configuration and set in the JavaScript applications. In this path, you find the uh, index.html in this folder. And finally, if we visit this, this path, we can see the same application, but in this case, it's Guillotine that uh, serves uh, this application and one service you have Guillotine and uh, the application. And it's all, uh, Thank you for listening and thank you for the Pronicomp to give me this opportunity. Thank you so much for that fascinating presentation. I really love seeing the ability to integrate other web application UIs into Guillotina. Um, I hope that everyone enjoyed this as much as I did and we have the face-to-face -face available if you have any questions or would like to interact with our speaker and I posted it into the track two. And thank you very much. Thank you, bye.